radical change is needed to rise to the challenges we all face. Buildings are the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. They are energy hungry and consume vast amounts of resources. However, that is not to say that solutions do not exist now that can make the rapid change required and deliver the sustainable building stock that is needed. The challenges of climate change, fuel security and fuel price demand that we must change. Add to this the large amounts of legislation, government, corporate and individual pressure to change and it is clear that we must all act. Our nation's buildings are responsible for nearly half of all emissions. We cherish our old buildings, but this is creating a building stock challenge. How do we give buildings the things they need to make them habitable, profitable and pleasurable places to be, namely heating, cooling, ventilation and power, while achieving greater efficiency, lower carbon intensity and using more renewable energy generating technologies? The emissions currently generated by homes and commercial properties need to be almost completely removed by 2050 in order for us to reach our national goals. This will involve scalable mass solutions that can deliver real environmental benefits while being cost effective and accepted by those who will use them. Viable solutions must be applied that are sustainable, livable and fair to all. The good news is is that many solutions exist now that can make the change possible at the pace required. A simple but far-reaching philosophy. An example of an eco-change that is helping to create a greener tomorrow and part of our wider global environmental vision can be expressed in five guiding principles for debate, for integrated thinking and our way of becoming fit for the future challenges ahead. First, do the right thing. Address your own footprint. While working with all areas of the supply chain to also do the right thing in driving down the need to consume energy in the first place before applying efficient and low to zero carbon solutions. Take an ECR approach which while it acknowledges that buildings will need to consume energy these demands should be addressed by increasing efficiency at every stage driving down the carbon intensity of the building and its energy consuming systems plus integrating renewable heat and power generation, making them part of the DNA of a building. A whole life cycle approach to the way a building is designed, used and ultimately removed is also required. This is the way we do business to rise to the challenge of creating a more sustainable built environment. Large commercial end users, installation companies, designers and homeowners are all part of the challenge, each integral to ensuring the right solution is delivered, installed and operated at every stage. Green Gateway. Join the debate. Become part of the solution.